Greetings, Poké fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my playthrough of Pokémon Scarlet, the Teal Mask DLC. I'm doing a Basque Legion raid with my lovely editor, Katie, uh, who's actually a part of the John Michael and Co. Patreon, so you should support us on Patreon if you're not already doing so. And uh, I was gonna prep to retry Ursaluna, but then she was like, do you wanna do a Basque Legion raid? And I was like, yes, yes I do! because evolving this thing sucks. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my event raid uh, Greninja and hopefully just destroy it quickly. I didn't do very much. She said it was five star. This is not five star? I feel like that should have done more if it was five star. Ooh, that was a crit. Does terastalizing help? I think maybe it helps even if it's not the move you're doing. This might have been stupid. Okay. Well, I no longer resist the Shadow Ball, so that's a bummer. Okay, that, that does not very much. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Why is this so hard? Is this? Did she tell me five star and it was six? Oh my God, these stat lowerings just suck. Oh crap, yeah, I'm gonna faint at least once. Yeah, are we gonna lose this raid? We have level 100s. And all dark types. <laughs> crap, I can't believe my Greninja died. Are we gonna lose this raid? Am I just a loser now? Is all I do just lose things? Losing to Ursaluna, losing to Basque Legion. I'm messaging Katie, what the F? Why was that so hard? Was that a five star raid? Wait, you should not ever lose a five star raid with level 100 Pokemon. I don't understand. I mean, they're not EV trained. That was insane. Maybe I should try my backs Caliber or Golden Go. Yeah, that was a five star raid. We lost a five star raid. <laughs> I'm hoping Golden Go is gonna be better. I know it's weak to Ghost but I have recover and maybe this way I just, I can just like shadow ball three times real quick and then like steal Terra. <clears throat> now Katie swapped in her shiny Greninja. Scary face, I don't care about scary face cause I'm good as gold, but baby. Shadow ball again. Wanna be able to Terra as soon as possible. Negative effects from myself, it's okay. Okay, how much is this gonna do? Less than half, that's awesome. Okay, I can tear it to steel after this. I just forgot I had this golden go. <laughs> All right, terrestrialize to steel, no longer weak to shadow ball. Oh, well, it's gone. <laughs> Keep scary facing, man. You can do that all day. Oh, nice, we got it this time, easy. Just one more shadow ball. Oh, oh no, all right, you're gonna wave crash. Did that recoil just take you out? <laughs> It did, okay, there it is, it's just delayed. All right, well, that was upsetting the first time, but with an adjustment in strategy, I now don't have to evolve a Basculin for the Pokedex. <laughs> Hooray, Basculin is very cool. Can we just, we can talk about that. I'm a little upset that it beat me moments ago, but the difference between a fully EV trained level 100 Pokemon and one that hasn't had any at all is sign- I got Herba Mystica! Yeah! I got Herba Mystica. There we go. All right, Basque Legion for the decks and Herba Mystica. Now we move back to the Ursa Luna problem. As uh, I'm sure most of you remember, in the end of the last episode, I got freaking destroyed by that thing. <laughs> um, So, I am not going to do that. I'm not going to do this. I'm not gonna just attempt it again, but I also don't want to over level. Um, but I have a plan, okay? So one might think that Ursaluna is completely walled by a ghost type with levitate because levitate makes it immune to the earth power and it's ghost typing makes it immune to the, um, the blood moon. However, this Ursaluna has an ability called Mind's Eye, which is a preposterously good ability because not only is it make it so it ignores evasiveness boosts of opponents and its accuracy can't be lowered. That's already like might as well be an ability on its own, but it also has Scrappy built in. It can hit ghost types with normal and fighting type moves. So a ghost type is still gonna take a butt ton of damage from Blood Moon. 
Um, however, if I can suppress that ability and then send in a Pokemon that uh, is a levitating ghost type, then I'm in good shape. So my plan for that is uh, a levitating ghost type is Miss Magius. It's got high special defense. So, well, I guess that doesn't even matter because the idea is that it won't be able to hit me at all. And I do have one, thank God. I need to level you up, but that's fine. Uh, so we're gonna put you in the party. And the other Pokemon I need, oh no, why did, I just wanted to cancel the search. The other Pokemon I need is one that can suppress Ursaluna's ability. And so that is going to be a victory bell. Now I can't use the victory bell I got in the raid uh, because only Weepin Bell and Bellsprout can learn it. Um, but thankfully I have a Bellsprout. So I just go here and I remember moves and I remember Gastro Acid. It eliminates the effects of the target's ability. And this thing even has a, a jolly nature already. That's sweet. So we're gonna give uh, you uh, sorted by type. We're gonna give you experience candies. I want a little higher than 61. I want like 65. Look at them lips. Ugh. There we go, completed that line. Um, Let's do a bit more. And I would honestly like to give you a choice scarf too, just to make like super sure I outspeed and I hit that, uh, I hit that gastro acid. Cause once the gastro acid hits this, the weeping bell doesn't matter. Um, Do I have a choice one? Do I need to buy a choice scarf? I might need to buy a choice scarf. <laughs> Unless anybody in my boxes has it. No, nobody in the box would have just a toy scarf on them. Or do you buy choice scarfs? Delibird presents. I knew it was a Delibird presents, but I didn't know which one. Southeastern Mesa goes. Okay. Um. So let's let's do that now before I forget. All right. So, choice scarf, outspeed, gastro acid. Then probably die, or let it die, uh, to like Blood Moon or something like that. Um. Blood Moon or Earth Power could both hit we, like the Victory Bell, which speaking of that, I should remember to evolve it before I do this. <laughs> would be very bad if I went in there and it was just Weeping Bell. I mean, maybe it would have been fine, uh, but I don't I don't see a need to risk it. I would love to be able to use a, um, like Victory Bell's new with this DLC, so it's cool I get to use it as part of this. Oh, Leaf Storm's pretty cool. Oh wait, I've got, I'm a physical attacker, Never mind. It would be cool to use just DLC Pokemon for this, um, but, Unfortunately, there are no ghost type levitating Pokemon that are like newly added to the DLC. That are like origin form Giratina, obviously not. There's Rotom in the base game. There's Haunter in the base game. And that might be all the levitating ghost types. 100,000, okay. I'm good. I'm gonna pay with LP. Okay. Uh, Choice Scarf, give to Victory Bell. Okay. Now I need to level up Miss Magius. Miss Magius' role is going to be just doing damage <laughs> while the uh, while the Ursaluna is unable to hit it. Um, so I if it it might just calm mind up to max special defense. So I need moves that are not going to like I I, I simply need moves with enough PP that it's not gonna run out. So like I can't just go in there with just like energy ball because that could be bad. Or its stats. It's got an attack raising nature. Oh, you don't learn any moves by level up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know you get energy ball. Phantom force is useless. I uh, Giga Drain? No. Grass Knot? Grass Knot. Grass Knot could be really good. That, that I don't know about y'all, but that, that our saloon looks heavy. Any ice moves? Not ice beam. Icy wind? You can learn icy wind. We're just gonna completely load out this thing's move set with super effective moves against this Ursaluna. <laughs> I am I, I am not gonna lose this freaking thing again. Okay, save the game. <laughs> Gotta go through this this traversal again. Hey girl, uh sorry about uh you know getting murdered earlier. <laughs> Yep, acting like it. the previous encounter never happened. I can't, part of me appreciates that, and part of me finds it humiliating. <laughs> yes, 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 there it is. Big old thing. Oh, I just realized I, I didn't catch this the first time, but this, because I was freaking out so much, but this music is the, uh, you're near an alpha Pokemon uh, music. All right, moment of truth. Victory Bell either needs to outspeed with a choice scarf, I feel like is pretty likely. And gastro acid. 
There we go. Ability was suppressed. It can now no longer hit ghost types. Well, uh, made it easy for me. It <laughs> just immediately, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to stall for a bit, but nope, no, I don't. <laughs> okay, now if I've done everything right, and its fourth move is supposedly slash, I looked it up. If I've done everything right, this thing can't touch me. This is great, I'm right up close to the action. Okay, it's probably just gonna calm mind. Yeah, I think I think the AI might just make it calm mind a bunch because it doesn't know what else to do. Like that's its only move that will do anything. So that's why I have a lot of moves that are super effective. Let's see if energy ball does more. It does not do more. Okay, well, uh, strap in everyone. I would love to get the drop, thank you. It doesn't really matter though, cause it's, it's I think it's just gonna, I think it's just gonna calm mine, but I get more hits, like, I get more hits at lower special defense. Yep, I've, I broke it! I'm a strategy genius! I, I, this is really, like, I don't know if there was another way I could have beaten this thing without over leveling. Like, I want to keep my team around the levels they currently are. The battles are becoming interesting. Uh, the battles are more interesting, like the battle I had with Carmen, um, but like, I, this thing is so busted. <laughs> I don't think I could beat it without utilizing a strategy like this. It does make it pretty boring though. And there's the Blood Moon. Is he at max now? He's not at max special defense. Okay. I'll go for a Grass Knot. Does maybe a little more? Okay, now he's at max. <laughs> a crit would be cool. Crit would be sweet. just to speed this up a little bit. And every time it attempts Calm Mind, it goes on for so long, cause it's gotta be like, it's special attack can go any higher. It's special defense can't go any higher. I'd rather you just tried Blood Moon. Yep, just, then it's just one message, okay? How have I not gotten a single crit? Yep, there's the slash. There's the slash that won't do trash. <laughs> you didn't hear that come out of my mouth. We're almost done. I think two more? Yep. <clears throat> no crits the whole time. And there we go, finally. <laughs> oh, there was the crit, but it didn't even matter. <laughs> Now's your chance to catch it. Definitely catch. Ooh, what ball do I want to use? Nothing's really screaming. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's not the right colors, but it is a moon related ball. All right. Now the insanely powerful thing is on my side. Brown normal, it crossed the sea and drifted ashore in a new land. Surviving in this place led it to take on a unique appearance and gain special powers. Uh, I do wanna give it a nickname, but I need to think about it. I'm gonna add to the party. 730 pounds. Alrighty. Hooray. You okay, partner? I seriously didn't think you'd go toe to toe with the blood moon beast, let alone catch it. That was amazing, absolutely amazing. Growlith. Gotta work on those nerves a bit, bud. Let's not shame the small dog for being a, f that is four times weak to that bear, by the way. Ah, but my heart is still beating a mile a minute. What a thrill. I, could, I, bleh, I just couldn't stop snapping shots of you battling the Blood Moon Beast. Bet you wanna give your Pokemon a chance to rest and recover though, huh, partner? Let's head back to camp for now. Backing up the old tent and calling it a day feels a bit sad, like the end of an adventure. Couldn't have done this without you, partner. Because of you, I finally feel like I have some photos here that I want to keep forever. It's been ages since I felt this way, seriously. So what you're saying is we got past your artist's block by putting our lives at risk. Now that I'm all motivated, it's time to ride this feeling and seize the day. I'm heading back to the village this instant to get these photos developed. As we always say in my family, time wasted is lost, so I'm not wasting any more time. Wait, developed? Wait, are, are you not using a digital camera? Let's meet again in Masui. Oh girl, yeah, I, I I'll see you there. <laughs> well. That was thrilling. Actually, it wasn't. That second battle was super boring. <laughs> but it was because I made it boring. Victory Bell and uh, Miss Magius, I appreciate your service. Now, who am I missing? Ursaluna is gonna be my main ground type. Um, but also, I wasn't using the Mighty Anna. Um, let's check you out. Normal Terra type, okay. Earth power, huge special attack. 
huge. Uh, what else you got in here? Moonblast, ooh, that's good coverage. I guess it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, Mind's Eye, this Pokemon ignores changes to opponent's evasiveness, its attack, accuracy can be lowered, and it can hit ghost types as normal on fighting type moves. You got a whole freaking, like, you need a whole paragraph to describe what this thing's, what this thing can do. I think that's a pretty good move set. I just need a nickname for it. Its eye is really cool. Like when it glows like the green, but like what's something, like I'm not gonna call it like monocle. I'll stew on it. I wanna give you your expert belt back though. Okay. I think for now I'm just gonna give Ursaluna a soft sand. I have 45 of them. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. All righty. And I want to figure out my last Pokemon, but I got more time before I do that. Head back to Moss Sweet Town. I guess I should talk to Perrin one more time and then I'll go do the festival stuff. Wait, has anyone taught me the new pose that everybody's using in their selfies nowadays? It's like a double peace sign, but with a twist. The upside down peace emote. Well, thanks, lady. Anyways, let's talk to Perrin and then finally go have fun at this festival. It's like, I'll be like, hey man, where you been? Oh, you know, I... Nearly died to a big bear. Hey girl, hey. What are you taking photos of? That's just the side of someone's house. <laughs> Managed to develop the photos I took of the Blood Moon Beast, show me. Oh, well, fact is once I got them all printed out, I could see that the photos I managed to get are all blurry or cut off or out of focus. Oh no. They really aren't good enough to show anyone, not even you, partner. Oh no. But still, out of all the photos I've ever taken, I think they may be my favorites. Aw. I think I'd gotten too caught up in my own head. Worrying about framing or what judges might say. I was thinking about what I ought to capture. But just capturing your subjects as they are, that's what photos should be. Oh, you taught me something important, partner. So thanks for that. Oh, that's right, your name. I never even asked you your name. She didn't, did she? I know that's awful of me, but after all you did to help, but mind teaching me your name? You can call me Michael. By the way, if you're ever afraid for coffee. The name's Perrin, a photographer. Yes, I. you, you told me your name. <laughs> My reward? Was the Ursaluna not reward enough? I can't be serious. <laughs> I just dropped a hundred thousand LP on a choice scarf for that battle, and then you just give it to me afterwards. <laughs> All right, and the Hisuian Growlithe, sure. <laughs> well, Perrin, I can say with great confidence, this has been deeply entertaining. Please let us see her again. I will raise it with care. We will definitely meet again. Please, can we meet again? Like for coffee? <laughs> and there they go. The ones that got away. <laughs> Freaking choice car. <scarf. laughs> all right, what is this Growlithe? That's a Hisuian Growlithe, all right, cool. All right, finally, let's do the festival. <laughs> oh, the little knock towels. Here we are. Ah, yep. That's Scarlet and Violet for you. Did you see that that fan just like appear in midair for half a second? <laughs> oh my God. There it is, it's just vibing. Its legs look like they were like just like a saw through the middle. It was like a flat side. That was so strange. This is the Festival of Masks. Today's just the first day. It'll keep going for a while. I bet you don't have any festivals this big over in Paldea or whatever, right? Girl, what is your problem? I mean, she is right though. Heh, <laughs> knew it. See, Kitakami's just as good as any of your big shiny cities. I'm sensing some insecurities. It's okay, Michael, just ignore her. I'll snap a photo so you can remember this amazing night forever. Give me your roto stick for a sec. Come on, you two, scooch in closer. Now you're stepping on my toes, sis. Oh, stop complaining. This will only take a second. Are you all ready? Say Chansey. That's kind of fun that they say Chansey. Wait, I'll get to see the photo. That's what I call a nice vest festival vibe. Festival of masks is held so we can honor the loyal three, the brave heroes of Kitakami. The loyal three are the Pokemon that once protected this land from the evil ogre, you know? Most of the kids in town wear masks of the loyal three, like me. Did I mention there are heroes? <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? Nothing, I was just... You know, it's funny that like, you don't know anything about the ogre. You know, she gets mad, her eyes are like a predator's. What? I know the legends of Kitakami better than anybody. Pretty gutsy of you to laugh at your big sis. Sorry. Is he like this because his sister is mean to him all the time? Kiki's still a little baby, so of course he thinks some kind of terrible monster's cool. He likes the ogre more than the loyal three. Oh look, they got candy apples. Let's go check out the stalls. Lady, you, you got attitude problems. Anyways. Sizzling fried nudes! 
Uh, I don't really care about any of these powers though. <laughs> and look, there's that dip button. I'm glad I didn't wait for this and come all this way trying to get the item to evolve Diplin or evolve Applin into Diplin and none of these do that. <laughs> yeah, I just don't care about any powers beyond the shiny one. I wanna buy a mask, but no one's at the stall. Get some shaved ice. Yep, I mean, fun, just don't care. Hard to pick, what is here? Which would you like? Oh, well, they're talking. Much syrup as you want. I gotta bring a date next year? <laughs> Yeah, no one's selling masks. Hey, over here! Oh, I should talk to Kieran, it seems. Excuse me, two candy apples, please. You got it, two candy apples coming right up. Thanks. Grandma gave me some pocket money, so it's no big deal. I love candy apples. You don't get to eat them every day, you know? Grandma always just makes us mochi as a snack. I mean, mochi sounds great. There's even a Pokemon in Kitty Kami that looks like a little, little candy apple. Did you know that? I have one in my party! Where did he go? Did he go up the hill? Who is this lady? Shh, what? You keep a secret? Just selfie post for when you want to be like secretive. Everyone's doing it lately. I learned the shush emote. <laughs> it's silly. Everyone is so warm. Where's Kieran? He said over this way, but then I didn't see where he went. Oh no! I've gotten separated from my friend at the party! Ah! Uh, <laughs> Kieran! Ride a Pokemon. I'll need to ride a Pokemon if you want to go have a go at Ogre Austin. Don't worry, you guys stand really here for folks without rideable Pokemon of their own. Ogre Austin? Oh, there you are. Step right up for a game of Ogre Austin. So y'all wanna have a go? Sure. Can't very well take money from a guest. Have a go on the house. Oh, thank you. You up for a run of Ogre Austin, huh? Sure. I did one just now. It's pretty easy for me, that is. <sighs> My score was 6390. Think you can do better? Go get her, Michael. I mean, I have a prehistoric beast that I'm riding on. Ogre Austin is a traditional game that has been played in Monster Town since long ago. Gather up lots of berries and bring them to the berry tables trying to earn yourself a big, a high score. The playing field is dotted with ogre balloons in four different colors. Pop these balloons to collect the berries inside them. There are also four different colors of berry tables at your home base. Place one of your berries on a matching table by getting close to it and pressing the A button. Once you manage to place the target number of berries on these tables, you win. Time to time, greedy Pokemon we gather on the berry tables, hoping to gobble up all your hard earned berries. If you let them, They'll eat until all your berries are gone. Use the R button to scare them off. Okay. Okay, so that's five right there. So I just put this leg right here. Okay. What are you doing? Get away! Uh, I need uh, green and blue. Get them on one trip. I'm worried about the uh, other guys. Oh no, he took one of my gray ones! Come on. Go faster! Oh man, they ate one of my red ones and I have to go redo it! Where are they? Uh, is this last one? Okay, I don't know if I beat her. I, I feel like I uh, was not efficient as enough. Wait, oh, there's more than one stage? Okay, I'm learning you really should just get them all you should get all the berries. And then go back. You can get full, but not at this stage of the game yet. I just gotta race back. Da, da, 
Okay, how many stages do you do this? It's gonna get harder when I can't fill them all up in one bag. I'm gonna get my bag totally full before I go back though. What do I need? I need more gray. I need more green too, goodness. I can't hold any more berries, okay, okay. Man, I got the exact right number, look at that. <laughs> Wait, Snorlax, Snorlax could appear? No, no, I didn't beat her. Mochi? Oh, I screwed up so bad in that first round. I came close though. What? My experience charm? Just from doing that? I, Carmen Mosswee's reigning champion of ogre balloon busting, have triumphed. Oh, I really want to beat her. Kiki, you go serve Michael a sound defeat for me. N no. What's that? You're taking the side of an outsider over your own sister? That makes you so annoyed. I don't think I'm gonna black out. Girl, you are so neurotic. <laughs> uh, sorry, she's causing such a scene. Don't worry, I'll deal with her. Why don't you go wander around in the bit in the meantime? Or I could do that again and claim victory over her. Oh, or I could follow whatever that is. Greetings. Hello. Do you want to be friends? Pardon? Mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. Are you enjoying the festival? <laughs> oh no. Michael, listen to this, it's nuts. Kiki's no use at all. Zero talent for house and ogres, I'm telling you. Hey, who was that? I don't know. It was a strange child. Why did they make me do that? Why did they make me walk five feet forward and start another cutscene? Wait, Michael, you shouldn't run off on your own. Girl, I'm a champion, I'm fine. I survived a bear attack. Hey kid, that comes for you, that goes for you too. Oh, that's what it looks like, it's so cute. Should come back, the mountain's dangerous at night. Can you not tell that this is not a person? Oh, I found the tail mask. Well, look at that. Story's over. A teal mask pattern after the face of an ogre. Ogre pawn dropped it. What was that? Where's that kid from? From? I don't think it's a kid. What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean that kid we just saw? They ran off toward the mountain. Could that have been the ogre from the story on all the signboards? Are you saying the story was true or not? It seems nice. Michael, sis, what are you guys doing over here? No, oh, we just bumped into the ogre. Hey, wait! Stop! 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 What? What? Why are you yelling all of a sudden, kid, sis, whatever the hell? It's nothing, it's nothing you'd be interested in at all. I swear, why are you lying to him? Uh-huh. Oh, I get it, I bet you're making fun of me behind my back. I'm just gonna head back to the festival. Whew, at least you didn't figure out what we were really talking about. Don't scare me like that, blabbing for the whole world to hear. Don't you have any filter? See, Kiki really likes the ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. So if you found out we'd seen the ogre without him, I guess I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know? Feel left out or something. Am I overthinking it? Besides, I didn't want him running up the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour either. In any case, we already lied about it and that's that. Keep this whole thing our little secret, okay? Maybe hold off on showing Kiki that mask you just picked up too. Oh yeah, that mask that's like as tall as me that I've just somehow fit in my backpack. Talk to Kieran before heading back. Kieran, Kieran, we weren't making fun of you. Please don't be sad. You're already so sad. Kieran? Oh, he's down here. Hey, dude. Had enough of the festival? Yeah, the next day. Head outside when you're ready. What the hell else am I gonna do in here? <laughs> hey, still wearing your thing. Dasui, Jinpei. Just because you didn't agree to meet doesn't mean you get to keep me waiting. 
What? Just because we didn't agree to meet doesn't mean you get to keep me waiting. Girl, you are fully insane. So, you see, I wanted to talk to you a bit. You can't... You haven't told anybody about the... You know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? No, I haven't. Better not be lying! If I found out you blabbed, I'm gonna make you swallow a coughing hole! <laughs> Jesus! Still have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa knows a lot about this village history. We should go talk to him about what happened yesterday. Sure, you know where my house is, right? See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Let's show grandpa the, you know, the thing we found. All right, I just got the impulse to do this. So I'm gonna do it now. Holy crap. That thing is as big as a house. Wait. Wait, just wait, I can do this now. And then I can do this. I can do this. And I can do this. And then I can zoom in and out, right? X. Am I always centered in the roto stick? What is this doing? Well, we're friends. You tried to kill me, but I forgive you. Because now you are my servant. Anyways, fly. Hello. Good morning to you, Michael. Hey, Michael, good morning. He's awake. Wanna go see the last signboard? Kiki, go find someplace else to be. Michael's got business with me. Oh my God, you're so mean. <laughs> oh, seriously, he's spending all his time with you. That's so unfair. You'd be such a jerk. Would you just call me? What's his deal? Kiki should know better than to talk back to me like that. Carmen, you suck. That's enough, Carmen. Be kind to your younger brother. Plus being kind, it's not like I hit him or anything. You need extensive therapy, girl. Anyway, we got more important things to discuss, right, Michael? Come on, you gotta show grandpa that thing you have. Why make me select it? Could this be? The mask it belongs to that poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it, the ogre, I mean. Yesterday at the Festival of Masks. I tried talking to it all nice and everything, but it dropped that mask and... Yeah, if I would have thought the ogre would still be gracing our festival with its presence. Uh, what do you mean still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. Suppose it's time I told you, Carmen. See, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. Way around, what do you mean? Did you hear this too, Michael? You also met the poor ogre, or ogre pun, as it's rightly named. Let me tell you the true story is passed down through our family for generations. Are you serious? Why not just tell me? Oh, it's a long story. Okay, well, I guess I... Credit where credit is due. Give me a chance to escape. But I'm ready to learn. The story has been passed on in our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. It's a story of truths. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. Oh, why not? Must never speak of it to others. What about, wait, wait we can tell Kieran though, right? Kieran, Kieran deserves it. Ooh. A long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kirikami from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre who looked so different from them. And so they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. Damn. The man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them, but they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers, the village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. The masks were brilliant works, adorned with the gems that man brought from somewhere far away. By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the masks, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. The rumors of exquisite shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. Oh no, a group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitakami. I thought it was weird that these were the protectors even though they have like skulls on their bodies. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived and tried to make off with the masks, which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks, but he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other three. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, it found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle a teal mask. Damn, what happened to, did they, did the Pokemon kill the man? The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen masks and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening nor why. All they saw was the raging ogre. They felt great fear. Villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen, trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three and interred them with care. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave alone. Great sadness. So the, so the Pokemon killed the man, 
Ogre Pond killed them. But like, how am I gonna get the Pokemon if they were interred? Ogre Pond didn't deserve that. And the little three, they are the worst. <laughs> the stories everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth. They gotta hear about this. Calm yourself, Carmen. I told you already to keep it to yourself. But Grandpa, the villagers believe their own version of history. They revere the loyal three, so how would they react to being told that they've got it all wrong? Oh wait, that was the grandpa. Sorry, I thought that was still her yelling. They'd probably get angry. Exactly. Back when this all first occurred, the mask maker, that is to say, our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. But nobody would take him seriously. In fact, it said he was persecuted as a heretic. Oh my God, <laughs> that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the mask maker chose to protect his descendants us by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation as a family secret. Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does he? He shouldn't, no. I've certainly never spoken spoken to him about it. Why do you ask? I don't know, he just really seems to like the ogre. He's practically obsessed. And he's been trying to one-up me as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. Well, I can't say what's going on with the boy, but he always was a sensitive child. Wouldn't surprise me if he somehow intuited the truth. I promise to tell Kieran the whole story when the time is right. Till then, take care not to breathe a word of the truth to anyone. Okay, Grandpa. I really can't tell Kiki we met the ogre. About that mask you showed me, I noticed the jewel on its forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a little while? Uh huh, maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs? That's Grandpa's offering. Let's get it all nice and fixed up before we give it back to Ogre Pond. Well, that's nice. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to take good care of this. Guess now I should go find Kieran. He overhear the whole thing? Uh-oh. I mean, good, but also, like, not good? I want to see Ogre Pond again, but getting its mass fixed will have to come first. For now, we should carry on with the orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. I bet we'll find Kiki just killing time somewhere in town. Meet up with Kieran. Kieran! Brother! Oh. Give me parkour. Kieran, my good man! Kieran, my good man! Oh, look at the Vulpix. Cute. Uh, anyways. Oh, uh, hey, Michael. So I was gonna ask, what were you and my sister just uh, talking about? This and that, I guess. Oh, I, I see. So, so, about those signs, the last one's a bit of a hike away. It's in the Paradise Barrens on the other side of Oni Mountain. We need to head over the mountain and down toward the northwest. You go ahead, I'll catch up. All right. I'm down for this, I haven't been over there yet. Why'd you lie to me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kieran. I feel so bad. All right, well, let me see what this raid is. What do we got? Phantom, I already got a phantom. But I got a thousand bucks. Is that a Rabombi? No, that's a cutie fly. Okay, six star raid. Uh, Probably not gonna attempt this. <laughs> no, no, that's gonna be too hard. Cool Pokemon I don't have, but like, I, I struggled with a regular one. Me and Foo! I struggled with a non six star raid one. Let's just get in the quick ball, little buddy. Sweet. Sweet! Still need to figure out a nickname for this Ursa Luna. Ursa Duma. Oh, dang it, Mankey. Maybe there's some kind of cool term. I'll look it up between recordings. Cool term that has to do with a blood moon. So ominous. You do. Where am I on the map? Okay, I'm heading toward this pool in the back corner because I need to go, I need to go here. Yeah, so I'm gonna work my way clockwise this time. Hey, it's this form of Oricorio. I saw those trees, I was like, that looks like Oricorio's colors and I was right. I bet this one spawns here and then maybe the, it's the pink one, right? Yeah, because the red one and the yellow one can be wild in Paldea. This is my first time obtaining this form. Oh, I, I just realized that's a ghost flying type. I couldn't think of any ghost flying types, so I could have used one of these to fight Ursa Luna in addition to Miss Magius. But hey, Miss Magius worked out. Just Yanma and Lotad over the water. Yanma flying over the water is pretty darn accurate. Or should I say Darner accurate? <laughs> Darner's a type of dragonfly. Ooh, sign. I've unlocked a new area for the Ogre Austin game. Wisteria Pond. Taking a drink from the waters of Wisteria Pond is said to grant eternal life. Though it is nutritious and quite famed, please be sure to boil the water before consumption. Well, I would like to uh, 
Well, actually, I don't know if I would want to be immortal. Seems like a lot. This is a lot of the same stuff. Big old grassy area. Pokemon I've seen before. They're all different. Shall I fight you, good man? Oh, you're not from here. Where are you from? Paldea. Intimidate. How dare you. How dare you. Yeah, my Lodic. Ooh. Ooh. That kind of hurt. Oh, I'm an idiot. I, I mixed this up with Blaze form. I thought it was fire type. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> and I forgot in... <coughs> oh my God. I should wrap up this recording. <coughs> Throat's hurting. Forgot I had Zen Headbutt on Infernate making bad decisions. Claude Sire. I'm gonna switch. Claude Sire uh, probably has Water Absorb. Let's use our Saluna. So freaking big. It simply dwarfs the Claude. This thing is ridiculous. God. Crazy. What's our raid here? Hakamo. Oh! I'm, I'm gonna do this, because I don't have this Pokemon. It's only four stars, should be fine to do it with my Kitakami team. Right? Right? Four stars what, like in level 40s or something? Heck, I'm all low! Surf's not gonna hit my friends, right? Nope, we're good. Oh, nice, that did so much more this time. Oh, because of close combat. Yep, there it is. Can I do something, please? Thank you. Oh, you just activated my competitive instinct. And, boom. This is the first time I've seen uh, any of this line wild. Oh, it's so golden. Laser beam. Sweet. There's Hakamolo. First part of that line done. Okay. I think I'm going to try and get to the Barons, like where the last plaque is, and then wrap it up. It fights, it gets into fist fight so intense that the scales on its arms peel off. Ew. I don't love that. I don't love that at all. Oh my God. Oh my God, I just want to get to the Barons. All right, well, I've reached a part that has various rocky outcroppings and a small cave. With on-eared, oh, Razor Fang. Okay, two Gliscors now. Almost there. My energy wanes, but I have nearly reached the Barons. There they are, the Paradise Barons. These are indeed I just landed right on top of that Gliscor, Gligar. All right, well, these are some bad lands. And I'm gonna explore them next time. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to the next episode with y'all. Goodbye.